This morning we're gonna be cleaning out our group pen barns for the small calves. So I'm just gonna grab this skid steer here, the S590. And grab this bucket right here. It's a pretty big bucket. It doesn't have grapple, but it still scoops out the straw pack pretty good. So we're gonna get that hooked up and start taking out the straw pack. In the last video, we were moving cows around the corrals there. Same day, we also took the calves out of the reno barn there. Uh, the oldest ones vaccinated them and put them into corral one. Uh, I was milking, so my dad and my sister did that. So I'm gonna go and clean that barn out now so we can put new calves in there onto a nice clean straw pack. Just tighten up the gates to the side there. That way they won't swing out and I won't have to get out of the bobcat at all. This is our old freestall barn. There used to be cow beds along this entire wall here. And because of that, there's a little ledge of concrete here on this side of the barn. It's maybe eight feet out here. Just underneath the straw pack, it's maybe three or four inches up. So I gotta be careful for that, but otherwise I can just come in here and scoop it all out. We got the entire pack out now. This is that ledge I was talking about earlier. I'm just gonna scrape all of the manure here and the straw pack that I spilt, all of this up onto that pile. And then I'm gonna put the pallet forks on that skid loader, grab two bales and shake them out in that pack area there. forks on the bobcat I'm just gonna spread them all the way out wide because I need them as wide as possible for carrying a bale they're adjustable up here I just got to kick them over make it a lot easier to grab those round bales
about two bales in there. I'm gonna cut the net wrap off and shake them out. New bedding packs in there. Now we're gonna chase these two groups over there and then we can clean this bedding pack out. Gonna go ask Dima if he wants to help because it is pretty irritating trying to do that by yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I want to use the New Holland wheel loader here for cleaning that front pack out. But uh, Dima is going to throw tires off the pit and he needs this thing first. So I'm going to give him a hand throwing the tires off. And then when we're all done that, I'm going to steal the loader. getting stuff in my boots. <laughs> so this side is going to need to be cleaned out from the front here which means I can't spill anything on this nice clean gravel otherwise I'm gonna have to pitchfork it up off the ground so I'm gonna be trying really hard to not spill anything I'm just shaking the bucket a whole bunch before I back out of here. Hopefully anything that's kind of loose and would fall off, falls off. And then I won't lose it going around the yard, hopefully.
Got this side looking pretty good. The last bucket is in there, it's like a quarter load. So I'm just gonna grab a pitchfork, scoop up the rest of the crap that's laying out here. Didn't spill too much, which is pretty nice. Gonna make it nice and easy. But uh, we still gotta pick up the stuff that's there. here for the back is just because the back is pretty tight uh, it'd be pretty inconvenient to get in there constantly with the wheel loader but we do do straw with that we put small square bills in that pack with the wheel loader and get in there but it's just a little bit inconvenient and it does go pretty quickly with the skid steer there especially since I can just dump it there the reason why I grabbed the wheel loader for the front it goes quicker and I can't just dump the manure right in front there like you do at the back that's why we use the skid steer and the loader for the front and the back so I'm gonna stick with that and we're gonna try and shake those round bales out with the wheel loader now. I'm just gonna go and grab them and grab two right away. Got the two bales in here, set this one down. It just completely busted open when I put it down. So now there's a bunch of net wrap underneath the straw. Uh, we're gonna have to try and pull that out. That's another pack cleaned and bedded. I'm just gonna clean this stuff up here, scrape it off into the edge. Don't wanna leave this mess here. So it's the afternoon melting here, milking with my sister Nalene. And we're gonna have a little competition to see who can hang six cows under quicker. Um, they're all clean and it should be pretty even here. So uh, I'm gonna set the GoPro down. We're gonna count down from three. And um, once you're done, throw your hands up and uh, see, let's see who's quicker at hanging them under. You're going now! <laughs> <laughs> Two, one, go. Oops. No! It's not here! <laughs> manual before I could hang the stinking thing under so sure you knew that already <laughs> I tried to reset it beforehand guys I'm the quicker milker you saw it here first <laughs> So we got four cows left. So we don't want to let just four random cows go to the front of the parlor because then the one's just gonna be loose here. Um, so we hold one gate, four spots open here, and then one person holds it open. And then I'm gonna grab a cow and chase her in there. Come on, lady. Hey. There we go. She was a little bit scared there. 
because she was standing there. But she went in there anyway. Well, we just finished up milking there. I just had to treat a cow and now we're all done. So that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram, at sasdushkid. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.